Okay, if you're using Design Space to cut your patterns for your sandblasting on your Yetis, I'm going to show you what I do to make sure that I get the name centered or logo centered or whatever I'm putting on this cup centered. So here's an example for somebody that I'm doing some cups that are going to be used as gifts for a wedding. So a lot of people think, well, I'll just use the grid lines that are on the transfer paper. The problem is that you can put these on crooked. I mean, it's very unlikely you're going to get it on straight. And so if you use those as your guide, you're going to end up with crooked applications. And when you sandblast and then you have a permanent mistake. So rather than do that, let's go ahead and check out what I do. All right, so the first thing here, I've got a bunch of different things all in a group. So I click on it and then I basically go up here and I click on detach. Once it's detached, I can go over here and I can click on it. Now you'll notice right here in the center, you can see that that cross right there. And that's going to tell you where the middle is. Now, do you have to have it 100% perfect in the middle? No. But if you get it really close, it's going to help you get this thing in the right position. Okay, so you can see here on this particular one, there's crosshairs right underneath the A just about at the very end of the tip of that one. So I transpose that and there's my dot right there. Okay, again, rather than using the lines on the transfer paper, I'm going to draw my lines directly on the transfer paper using the actual Thing. So I'm going to line this up so that it's level with the letters and then I'll draw my line from there. Okay, now I've got my crosshairs on here. If you take a close look, you'll see the center line here running right up along the edge of that one and again spaced almost perfectly against the S and this cross line here. It's right, right between the numbers and the letters and level with the bottom edge of these letters rather than worrying about whether or not it's right on the line of the transfer paper. In this case, it actually is pretty close, but a lot of times it's not, it's not anywhere close. And uh, you might see that in the next video. Okay, now I'm going to put my mark on the Yeti Rambler. And as you can see, I kind of have it off centered here on this E. And what I found is because of the way the letter is spelled, you would think that right dead center between the E and the T would be the middle. But in actuality, it's not. It's going to actually be just, just into that E. And the way I have my square lined up when I draw the line, it's going to come down right over it. If you're putting a label on both sides for sandblasting. I just draw a line on the top rim and then I'll match it up, kind of eyeball it. But I just use a square with a flat flat bottom. It just seems to work best for me. And I use this on all the different Yeti cups. Next thing you want to do is find the center point between the top of the Yeti and the top of the rim. And what I do is I'll measure from the top. So I've got about two and three quarters. So I'm gonna split the difference and make a mark. And that'll be my center line. Okay, I've switched labels because I wanted to, this is a throwaway one and I wanted to be able to put it on this cup. It's just uh, for the purposes of this video. So I lined everything up. I've got my cross and essentially the bottom line of this and the top line is going to match up and on the sides. 
Okay, the first thing you want to do is remove the backing paper. And then, basically eyeballing it, you're going to make sure that everything is lined up. Now I will say on this Rambler, this is actually one of the easier ones to do and the reason for that is because the sidewalls are square when you're dealing with some of the other ones, a little more difficult. Now that I have this piece on, you're going to want to remove this transfer paper and you basically just got to catch an edge of it. Once you have that, once you have that edge, you want to make sure your vinyl stays on the cup. And the best way to do that is just kind of grab the edge of that and then just peel this off at the sharpest angle you can. I basically just kind of fold it over against itself. And you want to pay close attention when you get to the center of letters, like that D there or Whenever you hit a letter, they're going to want to lift up. Okay, so there you go. That's on nice and straight. It's centered. And when I go to sandblast this, everything is going to be perfect on here. It's going to be dead center between these two sides, two edges. And that's pretty much it. Once you take this off after sandblasting it, then you just rub all this down with acetone and it'll take off any glues that are left behind as well as remove these marks from the Sharpie. Very easy to do. Anyway, that's how I do it. I know it wasn't a real quick video, but I wanted to make sure that all the steps that I used to make sure I get this level and straight were available to you. Thank you for watching this video. Have a great day.